my name is Navigator, and if you are like me and have been taking a break from Fallout 76 recently, this is a perfect video for you, because what I'm going to be doing is breaking down as briefly as possible all of the awesome new things that are coming to Fallout 76 with the Once in a Blue Moon update. Uh, I mean, there's not really, ha hasn't really been a lot going on with the game recently, and uh, I've been playing a lot of other game stuff like that, but of course, uh, like always, I always come back when there is a new update. So, if you're kind of in the same position as me, where you haven't been playing, but you know, you're looking forward to what is coming up uh, next week, then this is the video for you. So, with all that being said, I'm going to really, as quickly as possible, try to go through all the things that I think are the most important regarding uh, stuff being added next week. So, I know that I'm rambling a little bit there, let me get you guys a nice kind of uh, sexy picture angle. Yeah, man. Oh, man, I look great in that chair. Look at me. I'm like Rip Daring. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this. Okay, so the biggest thing that I can talk about right off the bat is going to be the two new enemies that are added to the game, and that's going to be the Jersey Devil and the uh, the Ogua, the Algua. I think I might just say the Algua until somebody, you know, tells me otherwise or I hear it differently, but let's just go with the Algua. I think that that sounds pretty decent. But the Jersey Devil is basically a big furry deathclaw. I mean, um, well, actually, I should get this out of the way. I want to give a huge shout-out to Uranium Fever. Uranium Fever uh, easily has the most precise and concise Fallout 76 video on YouTube, and whenever I, you know, need to, like, do research like I have been doing, I mean, I've been away from the game, I needed to kind of refresh on what was going on, I always go uh, check out his videos. So, if you guys are curious uh, as to, like, more in-depth details about what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link to his channel and a couple of his videos in the description below. Please go give him support. I mean, this video wouldn't be possible if uh, he didn't make these videos and give out this information to the public. So, thanks again to him. But moving on, so the Jersey Devil, it's going to be like a big furry deathclaw, kind of like what Uranium said, I mean, there's really no uh, other description you can get, but in that video, it kind of has the same, you know, move sets and stuff like that, uh, that uh, a deathclaw has, and unfortunately, uh, on console, I don't have access to the PTS, so that was the only way that I really got to see how that thing worked out. But one, uh, sorry, two interesting things that I found about the Jersey Devil, uh, and this might have just been an instance of it, like, maybe kind of like spawning in or something, but when it spawned spawned in, it was behind this, like, junkyard fence wall, and it literally hopped on top of the fence and jumped over it. Now, maybe that was me, like, not seeing it properly or something like that, but as far as I know, I, I don't recall enemies, like, like, mantling over something, so I just imagine, like, being out in the woods, and all of a sudden this giant furry deathclaw hops over a wall at you, that would be terrifying. And on top of that, the thing is incredibly tall. It is, like, super tall. I'm not sure if it's taller than any other, like, enemies, but, man, it just looks super tall when I was looking at it. And, man, that, that that's just creepy, dude. I do not want to see that thing, like, 20 feet tall running at me in the middle of the Savage Divide. That would be a nightmare. But uh, the other other enemy is going to be the Ogua, like I mentioned earlier, and that's basically just a massive kind of deathclaw turtle almost. And from what I can gather, it has a lot of like kind of unique attacks. Uh, it's a turtle, so I think it can bite you, uh, you know, like a snapping turtle, whatever. Uh, but one of the other cool things is, is the giant shell that it has on its back, and I'm assuming that when you fight them, the shell is going to have like a bunch of armor. It might even be impenetrable, so you're going to have to be aiming for like uh, sweet spots, kind of like you, what you would do with a mire. Lurk. You know, you don't want to shoot the shell direct on. You want to go for the fleshy areas. Um, but yeah, other th the other thing I can say about it is it's kind of a mix between a sloth and a deathclaw. But if you guys haven't seen what those things look like, go check them out. There's plenty of pictures of what those things will look like in-game out there on the internet. So... Those are, I want to say, probably the two biggest things that are going to be added to the game. We have really haven't had a new enemy, uh, let alone two new enemies added to the game in quite some time. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the uh, the new set of missions that are coming. There's going to be uh, this whole Blue Ridge uh, caravan mission set up. Now, I'm not going to go super in detail about them. You can, guys can go do your own research on that, because honestly, it wouldn't even be worth your time to listen to it. But there's going to be a crap ton of new Blue Ridge rewards that are coming. Off the top of my head, I remember seeing like a sleep bag, a stash box, there's some new Blue Ridge outfits, there's a, uh, what was really cool is there's going to be a new Blue Ridge armor paint for, I believe, every armor, and the picture just had combat armor, but hopefully it's for all of them. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, along with that, there's going to be, uh, there's this thing where it's like, you know, you complete these quests and you can only complete them once. And then after you complete all of them, you'll unlock like a secret side quest or something like if you do them in a certain amount of days. But again, uh, for that kind of, um, that precise 
I don't know, whatever stipulations, go just go check out Uranium Fever, go look online, do your stuff like that. But what is most important is there's going to be new missions coming to the game and new Blue Ridge rewards if you are like me and a big fan of the Blue Ridge. So with that out of the way, moving on, there's going to be uh, two new weapons, like kind of like, uh, well, I guess one of them is kind of like an actual new weapon. The other one is a weapon we've seen before, but that that is going to be the uh, the Algua Gauntlet, which is going to be basically just a bare gauntlet with an Algua skull on it. And it does, you know, it does its own effects and stuff like that. And the other one is going to be Holy Flame. And from, from what I saw from it, it's, uh, I mean, I guess maybe some, like, Jersey Devil-themed flamer. But for me, I'm not really one to use flamers a lot. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'll totally get it and collect it. But uh, just something cool to see. And uh, I believe it shoots blue flames. I could be wrong about that. But, hey, I mean, it probably does something cool. So what, what are we talking about? Uh, speaking of weapons, though, there are going to be seven new uh, unique weapons. So they're weapons that already existed, but they'll have you know unique effects and skins and names and stuff like that. And uh, the ones that st uh, stuck out to me the most, I mean, there was a Tommy gun, a shotgun, stuff like that. But the really cool ones that I saw is there's a Blue Ridge Cattle Prod, which is a totally unique looking weapon. There's a, uh, a makeshift spear kind of thing that looked really, really cool. I, I love spears, so I'm excited for that. There's a gold switchblade, which I thought was awesome looking. And then there's also this, like, jawbone knife thing. I, I have no idea. I'm wondering if that's related to the new enemies or not, but truth be told, I really, I just don't know. And there's, there's a couple more there, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the weapon stuff. So moving on here, uh, let's talk about, let's see what I have here in my notes, some new uh, changes that are coming to the game with the, with the interface and stuff like that. When you pick up a legendary weapon, so let me stand up here uh, and kind of show you guys a little bit of an example. Um, when you like pick up a legendary weapon off the ground, so let's say there's a dead body here, I go up and I pick it up. When I kind of like take a step back, my whole screen will be filled with the image of the legendary item that I picked up. And what's going to happen now is uh, with the new update just above my HP bar, there will be a, a list of or details about the legendary item that I picked up. And truth be told, I think that'll be very, very helpful. Uh, I know that like uh, sometimes when you're transferring stuff with a mule, or maybe you're just picking up a lot of legendary items in general, say you're at like eviction notice or something, uh, you pick up a bunch of them and it kind of just it has to go through showing you and displaying you every legendary weapon and it kind of takes up your screen. So this will make it a little bit better, kind of take that, that nuisance kind of out of your screen and compact it down there in the corner. So you just are uh, able to see a little bit easier, I guess. Who's this guy? Chaka Flocka Flame. <laughs> That's a great name. So there we go. Nice to meet you, Chaka. I'm filming a video here, but yeah, so that's uh, one of the things coming with the uh, the new, I guess, user interface updates. Something else is there's going to be, uh, well, speaking of legendary weapons, more legendary uh, effect descriptions. So when you get uh, a legendary item, it'll have just uh, a more descript, I don't even know how to, a more in-depth description of what that legendary effect does. And that'll be super useful for probably new players or players that haven't experienced certain legendary effects of, uh, before. Sorry, I'm just uh, doing some housework here, you know. Another thing I have here in my notes is that stamp prices are going to be decreased. So when you go to Giuseppe, the vendor uh, at the uh, the White Springs Resort, he will have uh, reduced prices on all of his stamp things. And again, a lot of those stamp things you can get from uh, doing the pit or, or whatever like that. Or this, I don't even know. But uh, on top of that, I'm assuming that you will now get more stamps, hopefully, maybe, hopefully, from when you do the pit. So as opposed to like eight, maybe you'll get like 10 or something like that. Or maybe it was 10 before, and now you get 12. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't played the pit in a minute. That thing was got old like the second week it came out. But that's going to be really cool. And they're also adding the cold shoulder, which is the uh, the unique weapon from this season. I'll show it really quick here. Uh, to the stamps vendor. So if you have missed out on the cold shoulder, and honestly, if you're watching this video, you have this game which means that you are able to get this scoreboard, which means that you can do these one, two, three, four ranks to get the cold shoulder. So please, guys, if you watch this video, don't wait till it's a stamp vendor. Just go out there and kill, like, two Scorch, and you'll rank up to rank four and just grab this thing. It is... Honestly, I, I, to this day, I think it's the best weapon in the game because it's totally free, super easy to unlock, uh, well, at least now it is, and it does just a wild amount of damage and has great effects. So if you disagree with me on that, whatever, you're lost. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. But yeah, that'll be in the shop, and the, on top of that, and one other point I can add is that that's going to solidify the fact that the kind of major and important items that we're going to be getting from the seasons uh, will be added to certain vendors once that season has left. So, um, 
kind of half of the half of the old battle pass stuff will be in the atomic shop and uh, half of it will be in like the stamps vendor i don't even know if that's the right uh, fraction there but who knows Okay, moving on here. We're almost done here, folks. There are tons of new cryptid uh, items, peril items, camp items, whatever you want to call it. But the two that stood out to me the most is going to be a, uh, a Jersey Devil, Blue Devil, um, like, uh, like hat. You know what I mean? Like a like a hood. It's kind of like a like a bear hood. You know, imagine like my face. What, what am I thinking of? Like the imposter sheep squatch or the uh, the the werewolf outfit that came out during Halloween. It's going to be kind of like that, but just styled after the Jersey Devil. Um, and by far the coolest thing that's going to be coming, in my opinion, is going to be what looks like an, uh, an Algoa backpack. So it's like a turtle shell backpack. And guys, like, come on. When, when you think of, of turtle shell backpack, what do you think of? Well, obviously TMNT. That's going to be super awesome, man. I cannot wait for that to drop. Oh, my God, that'll be so cool having, like, a Fallout TMNT-styled backpack. that will be so awesome. And uh, who knows? Maybe I could do, like, a Leonardo Michelangelo of Ninja Turtles character build, something like that. You guys know how I do those on the channel. Um, and on top of that, there's just some more Blue Ridge rewards, more camp items, more Atomic Shop rewards that are coming. Just an unfathomable amount of cosmetic items. So I'm not going to spend really a lot of time uh, on focusing on those. And again, if you want to see what those are, go check out Uranium Fever. Go check out a bunch of other 76 YouTubers. Moving on, uh, one kind of interesting thing is there's going to be a new daily op mutation, the Danger Cloud, and it looks like a the, the normal green gas that we see, and it diminishes player AP and HP when you walk in that cloud, and I'm sure there's like different buffs or whatever you can have to, you know, have resistance against it, but that's just kind of what I saw in the video, so um, yeah. That's uh, that's going to be it for the daily ups thing, and I guess, uh, well, I know that there, there's new rewards that they added with the Mutation Invasion update, so I guess there might be a little bit more incentive, maybe, to play daily ups, but I don't really know anybody who would who would count a new mutation as an incentive, so I have really no idea. Uh, season 13, the new season that's going to be coming on Tuesday, is going to be Shoot for the Stars, and uh, I mean... You guys can go check out the, the rewards and everything like that, but that's going to be kind of Hollywood cinema themed. Again, if you guys know me, I really, really am not the biggest fan of kind of like modern, non-Fallout themed things being in Fallout, like the Wavy Willard's Water Park. I thought that was ridiculous. Um, I mean, uh, the Cryptid Hunt this season I love because there was a lot of like hunting themed things, but man, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be cool to unlock them, but I'm not really looking for like, uh, I don't know, like a movie screen or like a bowling alley or something like that. I'm looking for like... I don't know, a giant, like, punji trap that I can put in front of my base like the NVA used to do in Vietnam. Or, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a huge, massive, like, junkier... Well, there already is that in the game, but I don't know. Just stuff that would really make me feel like I'm in a universe where nuclear bombs were dropped on this country 25 years ago. Some of the stuff just doesn't make sense, but hey, I still love this game. All right, moving on to the last page of my notes here. I'm going to go through this uh, kind of the speed round here. Joey Bello is going to be the new ally, and he is a stand-up comic, and he comes with... Oh, actually, hold on a second here, guys. It's getting a little bit dark in here. Let me throw up the brightness a little bit. Um, he's going to be coming with a, a sound stair, like a performance stage, whatever. That'll be kind of cool. It'd be interesting, you know, if you're building a camp, whatever, to have some guy cracking jokes. That'd be really entertaining. Um, there's a new shelter, speaking of kind of sound stages, called the Sound Stage, and that's going to be basically like, a, well, a stage. And if you guys watched um, that, uh, what was it, the IGN video about the, how the Fallout role players, whatever, a lot of those people actually put on plays in this game, so at least for them, that'll be something really, really cool. They'll have a whole new entire like uh, shelter devoted to a stage and stuff like that. And actually, if there's any other content creators watching this, I think that this might be something very interesting for us, having kind of like a stage in game. Maybe we could do something with that. Maybe maybe you can like film videos in there, stuff like that. So that might be really really cool, uh, especially for Fallout 76 <clears throat> content creators. Sorry, it's something in my throat there. All right, already talked about the insane amount of Atomic Shop items. I literally have that written there. Insane amount of Atomic Shop items. And then the last thing I can talk about here, and I'm going to keep it brief because I am releasing a video about this uh, tomorrow, but that is going to be the new DLC Atlantic City. Now, the first thing that I noticed about this is it wasn't called Expedition Atlantic City whatever. Now, maybe they just hadn't put that in yet, but... I really feel like they're going to be using the same mechanic that they have with the pit, maybe, where you have to, like, charge a vertebrate. Who knows? It might be super easy where you can just fast travel there. I have no idea. 
but I am incredibly excited because, in my opinion, this is going to be the uh, the new Vegas of the East. I have a really big feeling that, and, and if you guys saw the, uh, the, the Xbox Game Awards or Showcase whatever video, you see there's like a kind of like an Italian looking guy with like the slick back hair singing on stage. And then there's a guy, there's like, um, what do you call it? I, I mean, I forget the, the dealer at, at the poker table. You see him kind of like a, like a super mutant dress as a dealer there. So there's going to be a lot of kind of like gambling themes and casino themes there. I mean, that's, that's kind of what Atlantic city is, but it's really going to be interesting. And I'm hoping that they're going to be adding some kind of new Vegas style theme items. You know, um, it would just be really, really cool to see that and kind of bring back that nostalgia from the, uh, the old casino. Uh, I don't even know Las Vegas. It would just be cool to see Las Vegas again, man. And I don't know. I've been hearing like rumors about there's going to be like a new Vegas two or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe we'll hear some more news about that. But again, I'm going to be giving you guys uh, a full breakdown on that and my full opinion. And maybe I'll have some more guests with me uh, in that video, but that's going to be happening tomorrow. So guys, I really tried to keep this as uh, concise as possible, and I really just wanted to give you guys uh, all the new information that is coming and just really what stood out to me as most important. So I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Thank you so much for uh, continuing to support the channel. Um, now that I'm kind of free from college and all that, I'll be able to have a more consistent schedule with uh, making videos with the game. And uh, yeah, all right. Again, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.